M0FXB, let's talk about DR mode. At the moment we're in FM mode. We can select digital just by going, tapping the FM, DV, and we could use a digital repeater this way, but DR mode is different. So we hold down here, it says call DR, press and hold DR, and we're now in DR mode. Golden spot connected to R, D, F, zero, zero, one, Charlie. Currently programmed to use my open spot four, as you can see, this is effectively connecting me to the D-Star reflectors uh, via, the, via that hotspot. But DR mode was designed to search and store repeaters. So if we tap here and you'll find that yours will be preloaded with a repeater list, but you can install a newer current list. But if you tap here, the bottom section, tap it and then you'll see straight away it takes you to repeat a list if you tap it just turn this down at the moment we've got all these groups of repeater lists so you've got uk d staff i go further down europe japan and so on okay and of course if you're in the usa you'll have usa ones there this this model is a europe model so if i tap uk d star uhf repeaters tap and i can select the one nearest me which is cardiff a, B, C, see if I can find it. There it is there, G, B, 7, C, D. And you still need a good antenna. Yeah, you still need to get an antenna on the roof. Or if you're on a walkie-talkie, get out on a hill. And you're going to pick up these, these different repeaters. So I'll try it. And to, to, call on a, to call into a repeater, you need to connect it to a reflector. So what you do is tap the top section. Tap again, reflector. And then we'll go link to reflector and we can do direct input or add one. So we'll add one, okay? So reflector and we'll go to the middle, 30 Charlie, and we'll go separate. Remember, you can use, we just go up and down, XRF, DCS, different types of reflectors, let's call it. So XRF, C here, set. So if I now key my microphone, Get the power up a little bit more. Let's try 30 watts. And we've just got a white stick collinear on the roof. We should be able to make that repeater connect to, to reflect the 30 Charlie. So let's just key the mic. And if it connects, it will actually announce. Link to R-E-F-0. And the process, the process is the same if you're using a hotspot. Now to talk to someone, you would have to tap the top reflector and you need to put it on to use reflector. So now if I call through, we'll... Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for a contact. No answer there, but anyway, let's do a repeater search. So if we tap the bottom, the bottom you've got the top section, which is the two, the bottom section is the from, from, tap it, near repeater search. You can choose if you want all to include analog repeaters or you know choose DV or FM. So I'm going to go all, enter, GPS invalid. <laughs> but anyway, it, it still works fine. Look, GB3WB, which is the nearest one to me. And you can select the, if I select an analog one, which is that one there, it's still, even though it's DR mode, it still works with analog, yeah? Or I could have chose a digital one, do that again near repeater and um, all we need a GPS lock don't we anyway uh, let's choose a digital one this time see the B they are digital use reflector notice that when it was calling through on the analog analog one the top selection was actually CQ CQ uh, so there you go, local CQ there it is there so that's the basics. Now you can get it to, if it, let me just go to my hotspot so I don't interfere with anyone. You can get it to tell you what it's doing. So if I look here, hotspot, I created a new, a new group, repeater list, go right to the bottom, called open spot, okay? Uh, tap that, and I'm gonna show you how to add your hotspot now. But now I'm effectively using, using this device and I can use my PC to, to decide what I want to join to. Or I can use my computer. So if we go at the top there, uh, reflector, again, link to reflector. Let's, let's do one this time. And then key the mic. And now it's gonna use this to connect. It's not gonna use the 
the and it's not doesn't need the antenna on my roof really. Open spot connected to R E F zero zero one. There you are. And you you can't tell the difference, but we are able now to connect anywhere in the world just using. A, I literally could put a rubber duck on the back of this radio and it would work. And it's the same reflectors. The other thing you can do with the top is remember to speak there. You would have selected use reflector to talk to anyone. You can go further down and there's some commands here. So hit reflector again. Okay. And then go to, you can unlink. Of course, that's obvious. Echo test. Let's do that. Echo test. Key the mic just so it logs into the echo test system. And it will announce to you when it does it. I'm not sure if it did it then, but let's just call and see what happens. M0FXB echo test. No, I don't think it's logged into that reflector yet, but that's what it, what it does. We can also tap the top and we can go to information, go to reflector first, then go down, repeater information, tap, now key the microphone. Should tell us what we're connected to. Connected to R E F zero zero one Charlie. And we saw the echo test. Let's see what else we got. Link, unlink from the reflector as well. We can unlink. Let's do that one. They actually used the letter U E I. Like so. And then if you tap it at the top again get more advanced you start to look at gateway cqs let's just choose one at random and now you'll talk you're calling into the repeater here so that imagine that's my gb7 cd here and you're, you're trying to link to a uh, repeater list i'm just going to choose one at random you're trying to link this repeater to this repeater and talk to someone which i've never actually done before but i think it'll be quite cool to do that and then if you want, you just come out, uh, press and hold the DR. We can still listen to that. My hotspot, my open spot is on 433900 DV. We can still listen to it. Now you do need to make sure that you've got your call sign in. So go menu, set, go to station. Uh, my, then there's my call sign. You do need that. Otherwise, no one's going to hear you. You might hear people. Let's call and see if anyone replies. No, it's not going to work, I don't think. You still need the minus shift. Let's add that. Go menu. No, actually, function. Number two, duplex. You always have to have a minus or a plus shift, which we've got minus now. Press and hold, then zero it off. So what, because it, it, the whole system is design, designed around being a repeater. M0 FXB test only. So let's go, it's still not working yet. CS, let's tap this one, let's go down. Edit, see if we can get M0 FXB. And normally you would go space, 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 B, but I'm putting in a Q, because I've got two hotspots in here. Let's try it, try it now. I'm not sure if this will work, it's the first time I've tried it on this radio. M0FXB, calling for a contact, M0FXB. And the radio talks. Well, do you know, I, I need to check that, because basically, when you're using D-Star this way, your CS settings have to be correct. So that I, I thought that would work. Mm, let's try, let's change it to a B, see if that works. And uh, really, the video's finished. I'm now just tinkering and learning. B is what you would normally use. You've got the G. U R. Um, so let's back out. And just try one last time, then we'll end the video. M0 FXB, test, test, test. Mm. Anyway, I'll make a, sp a, a, a special video showing you how to use D-Star just using normal memory mode and then it's easy to add a memory channel isn't it just tap it here go to memory put the put the turn it until you get to a blank memory tap
put the frequency in that you want to use. Frequency input. That's the frequency. Set your plus, your minus, your DV mode. You know, set everything up. And then um, add it to the memory channel just by tapping here. Two little beeps. And it's in the memory channel. Bye for now.